This is Tosh Khunov, Product Manager for ClickFX. Now, your return on investment through advertisement and sponsorship is, is extremely important. And ClickFX Prime offers a lot of data binding opportunities for you to, to generate that revenue. So how do we go about doing this? The first thing we'll want to do is create a graphic that is going to hold our elements that we're going to uh, use to display any data that might come into the system. Uh, we want to make sure that our data sheet tool window is open because that allows you to link to an XML file. And now we can start adding elements to our scene. And right here I've added a text object. And from here on out it's pretty simple. You just find the source that you've already defined that has either a link to XML or JSON. Uh, you select that and then you select from the drop down, uh, which gives you a quick list of all the items in the XML. You select the path, the X path of the field that you're looking for, or you can click on this little button here, which allows you to browse the XML file. It gives you every single node in the XML and allows you to dive deeper into it. So if I know, for instance, that I wanna select one of my teams, I can double click that. I can select the first team in the XML and I can find a node, for instance, the name, and I can easily then construct the X path that will be used as the, the binding that will pull up the data from the XML. So now there's a permanent link here. And anytime this XML changes underneath the hood, and you can see that that's now permanently linked, anytime the XML changes, that X path query, that field name is executed, and the data is retrieved and updated in this field. From here, I can easily uh, start building out my scoreboard by, for instance, taking this field, I can copy it, I can paste it, I can move it around to a, uh, off, off to the side, and I can select a different team from my XML. I can navigate back up the tree, select the second team, select that team's name, hit OK, and now I have a permanent binding to the second XML node that contains my team name. Uh, similarly, you can also do this for uh, logos. And right now we're going to do this for the team logo. It could be anything really. Um, you know, it could be a sponsorship logo, it could be a team logo, it could be a headshot. Um, it's a, a very quick and easy way to link to XML and have that automatically update elements in the scene. Now, we've linked to a file and the XML doesn't actually contain a file path as we can tell by navigating into the XML again. But what we're doing here is we're actually binding it to the team code, a three letter code that uh, we can then use in a lookup list. So first we've made the assignment to the XML. The XML contains the three letter code and we're going to attach what we call a key value list. And we can do that by right clicking and uh, hitting the create option. We're gonna give this list a nice name so we can identify it. Uh, we're going to check some options here to make sure the key comes in. Now, the key from the XML will be that three letter code. And what we're going to do now is we're going to select a directory that we have prepared with the team logos. And this directory um, has a couple of logos in there already. And through the naming convention of ending the file with a three letter code, it automatically picks up the key and the file name. And so whenever the key comes in, it's converted into a file name and the system knows to update that logo. We can do the same for the away team um, and change it to the second team. And now the second team's logo uh, will automatically change based on the XML. So a lot of opportunity here for sponsorship logos, team logos, and other elements to automatically change based on data.